once again welcome back in this lecture uh, we will discuss the third operating component of a torque which is required for the faithful operation of any analog instrument and uh, that is nothing but the concept of damping torque in the previous lecture we discussed in detail about the concept of deflection torque and uh, controlling torque and uh, in the last lecture we discussed about different mechanisms with the help of which we are in a position to uh, generate the magnitude of required controlling torque maybe with the help of spring control mechanism or with the help of gravity control mechanism now what is damping torque so as i told you that damping torque is the component of operating torque which is required for the normal operation of any analog instrument that to indicating type when the pointer will try to indicate the final value of unknown quantity and due to the inertia of that particular system it will try to make some oscillations with respect to its final value and to re reduce the magnitude of that oscillation we required some torque or some force that magnitude of torque or that magnitude of force is nothing but what damping torque and uh, as far as the domain of measurement is concerned uh, we are having three different mechanism with the help of which we can achieve the required damping torque first one is with the help of air friction damping second one is with the help of oil friction damping and third one is with the help of eddy current damping now what is the concept of air friction damping so let us consider a simple uh, diagram over here suppose this is a pointer and this indicate a calibrated scale for an analog instrument and this point is connected to the spindle and if you see the top view of any analog instrument this is nothing but a spindle arrangement to this spindle arrangement what we need to do we are going to connect a cylinder piston mechanism over here like this so this is cylinder and this indicate a piston and inside this cylinder we are having air molecule molecules now as we know that in order to move this pointer from its initial position we required some input mechanical torque and that form of torque is provided by using any one of the effect like induction or magnetic and suppose we are having the deflection torque acting on this pointer in this particular direction because of this the pointer will try to move from its initial position creating some deflection theta as an output and due to the inertia of this particular system what will happen this pointer will try to make some oscillation with respect to its final value and in order to reduce those oscillations the required amount of damping torque is provided via this mechanism that means with the help of air friction or by a combination of piston cylinder with air friction uh, mechanism we will capable to provide the required amount of damping torque that's why this type of mechanisms are called as air friction uh, based damping torque mechanism the same uh, arrangement is available for oil friction damping mechanism the thing is that instead of using air molecule or instead of using air in that cylinder we need to replace this air by oil or you can say any working fluid so if we implement oil fluid mechanism to provide the required amount of friction in order to reduce the oscillations made by that pointer with respect to its final value then that type of mechanism is called as oil friction based damping torque mechanism now if you compare the 
effectiveness of oil friction uh, damping torque and uh, air friction damping torque in general the effectiveness is more in case of oil friction damping because of its fluid mechanism or you can say because of the viscosity of oil as compared to the air friction damping torque mechanism whereas if you compare the order of use so in most of the cases air friction damping mechanism is widely used as compared to oil friction damping mechanism the reason is very simple because if we used oil friction damping torque mechanism in order to achieve the component of damping torque for the operation of any analog instrument then in that case we need to handle that analog instrument very carefully because of this oil leakage issue but if you compare the efficacy or you can say effectiveness oil friction damping mechanisms are more effective as compared to air friction damping mechanism the third component or you can say third technique with the help of which we can achieve the requirement of damping torque in any indicating type analog instrument is with the help of eddy current damping now what is the concept of this eddy current damping now in this type of analog instrument let us consider first a diagram so if you see the side view of any indicating type analog instrument this structure is responsible for pivot or it will provide basically a mechanical support structure to the ball bearing mechanism and the spindle so here we are having ball bearing mechanism like this and here we need to place a spindle basically it is nothing but a steel rod then to this spindle we need to attach our pointer and to have the concept of controlling torque here we need to placed a spring mechanism so somewhere over here we are having a spring mechanism like this so this is going to fulfill the requirement of controlling torque for the operation of any analog uh, instrument now as we know that due to the inertia of this particular system when the pointer will try to indicate the final value of unknown quantity this pointer will make some oscillations with respect to its final value and our objective is to reduce the magnitude of those oscillation for that reason what we need to do in this case we are placing an aluminum coil over here and to the vicinity of this aluminum coil we are providing a permanent magnet like this this is a permanent magnet and uh, the permanent magnet is placed in such a way that the magnetic field of line produced by this permanent magnet are going to link to this aluminium disc or you can say aluminium coil now what will happen when this pointer will make some oscillations with respect to its final value then in that case this disc will also oscillate in the presence of external magnetic field and because of the eddy current mechanism it will try to oppose these oscillations and we will have the component of damping torque in this particular arrangement so i can say that uh, because of eddy current phenomena which is implemented over here to achieve the required amount of damping torque that's why this type of mechanism is called as eddy current damping technique now if you compare the efficiency or you can see effectiveness of eddy current damping mechanism as compared to the air friction damping mechanism or you can say oil friction damping mechanism the most efficient type of uh, damping mechanism is this one that is eddy current damping mechanism but the thing is that 
this type of damping mechanism is used only in those type of analog instrument in which the required amount of magnetic field is produced with the help of permanent magnet why because in order to have the working of eddy current damping we required strong magnetic field and strong magnetic field is possible only in those analog instrument where we are having permanent magnet available in it as i told you in the previous lecture that suppose if the analog instrument is works on the principle of uh, magnetic field or you can say magnetic effect then in that case we are having two different possibility to generate the required amount of magnetic field either with the help of permanent magnet or with the help of electromagnet and i told you that in case of pmmc that is permanent magnet moving coil type analog instrument we used or their designing is done in such a way that the required amount of magnetic field is produced with the help of permanent magnet so i can say that in case of pmmc type analog instrument by default we are having strong magnetic field or strong working magnetic field so that we can easily imp implement the concept of eddy current damping in order to have damping torque for its working phenomena whereas if you consider moving iron type analog instrument that is mi or you can say electromagnet type moving coil type analog instrument that is emmc type analog instrument so in these two type of analog instrument the required amount of magnetic field is produced with the help of electromagnet so i can say that as compared to pmmc type analog instrument the magnetic field available in mi type instrument or emmc type instruments are weak and that is the reason in order to have the damping torque for the normal operation of mi type instrument or emmc type instrument air friction damping is implemented as compared to oil friction damping so the thing is very clear that if you compare the efficiency or effectiveness of these three damping the most efficient type of damping is eddy current damping then second one is uh, air friction damping and third one sorry second one is oil friction damping and third one is air friction damping this is the order of their effectiveness that means if you compare the efficiency of these three the most efficient is eddy current then second one is oil friction and third one is air friction but if you consider the order of use that means agar ye teen type ki uh, damping technique mere paas available hai aur mujhe ye decide karna hai ki inme se kaun sa mujhe pehle prefer karna hai to sabse pehle i need to identify which type of analog instrument is available with me for example in that analog instrument the required amount of magnetic field is produced with the help of permanent magnet then no doubt in that particular analog instrument we are implementing eddy current damping to fulfill the requirement of damping torque whereas if we are having an analog instrument in which the required amount of magnetic field is produced with the help of electromagnet maybe say mi or say emmc then in that case if the efficiency is concerned oil friction damping is more efficient as compared to air friction damping but because we know that there is a issue of oil leakage in this case that's why to overcome that particular disadvantage we implement air friction damping in case of mi or emmc type analog instrument so this is what the simple concept of damping torque and how to achieve damping torque for the normal operation of any indicating type analog instrument thank you